come to this question where we are given three points A, B, C on a horizontal field and at point D is on A, C okay such that uh, this is an important piece of information later on angle A, B, D is an obtuse angle okay meaning it will be bigger than 90 degree uh, but less than 180 degrees fine Angle A, D, B for A part 1. Okay. Well, I'm going to just snip this part of angle A, D, B out. So that it's easier for us to refer to for A part 1. So for A part 1, angle A, D, B, which is this angle... And I also have this with this. So what rule do you think we should use? Yes, sine rule. So sine of angle ADB over 48 is equals to sine 35 degree over 29. And now when we do this and try to solve for angle ADB, and when you try to use your calculator, you would get an acute angle in your calculator. Let me do times 49 before I get the sine inverse. Okay. <clears throat> so this will give me 71 point six eight nine to five SF when I use my calculator but wait a minute the question indicated that angle ADB is an obtuse angle and therefore it is at this point in time that we have to revisit the sine ratio of an obtuse angle which is the same as the sine ratio of an acute uh, angle. So what does this mean? This means that angle ADB can also be equal to 180 minus 689 degree. And so I would have these two values But this one, I will have to reject this value for this particular question because this particular question has indicated that this is an obtuse angle. So final answer, therefore obtuse angle ADB is equal to 108.3 degree to one decimal place. Alright, that is the first part of this question. Next question, find the distance BC. Ah, so it is at this point since we already know angle ADB. So perhaps I will just indicate here. Then, Second part, we need to find this. And if I know this angle, I will be able to get it easily, right? So I'm going to just channel my focus on this part of the diagram. For my part B. Okay. And just want to hide away this. So it's easier to see. Okay. Now, so for A part 2. Step 1 would then be for us to take note of what is my angle BDC. Okay. 
this one is uh, adjacent angles on a straight line and this one will give me 71.689 and once I know this is 71.689 degree what rule should I use now that I have this angle this side and this side yes cosine rule so bc is the square root of 29 square plus 32 square minus 2 times 29 32 cosine of 71.689 degrees and this will give me a value of 35.804 35.8 meter part 3 let's take a look the area of triangle A B C hmm ah well then for this particular question, uh, let's stay focused on this diagram then, which I'm going to pull out. And just indicate here. So A part 3, to find the area of this whole thing, then I will first need this. This is 71.689. And applying half a b sin c i would be able to get the blue color area of this triangle bdc then if i know this angle and i applying half a b sin of this angle a d a b d i would get the purple color area then I just need to add them up, right? So step one, since angle ABD is not given, and that's what I will set up to find first. I will have minus 35 and minus away the 108.311 degrees. Since this is my angle sum of triangle, This will give me 36.689 degrees. And so the area of triangle ABC will be equals to the area of triangle ABD, the purple one, and the area of triangle BDC, the blue one. So you will see they're working as such. All right. Applying the formula for area of a triangle. To give me a value of a hundred and fifty six point three four five or by three five five SF final answer a hundred and fifty six meter square. All right, let's move on to B to find the angle of elevation of the kite from C where there is a vertical a, high, a kite that is vertically above D hmm. okay so I'm going to just replicate this and they give us two pieces of information so let's move this over into blue part B here so 
So the first piece of information for part B would be that there's a kite. And where's the kite? At point D. And they give me that D angle of elevation of D from B. So there will be a vertically high. I'm going to draw a 3D diagram now, okay? So there's this cut here. Here. Okay? And then they give us two pieces of information here. They ask us to find the angle of elevation of the kite from C. But before we can do that, this is the first thing you need to take note. So I will name this kite K here, this point K. You have to see that DBK is a right angle triangle. And after which, if I were to use a green color, oops, and to draw, to link the kite at to point C, you also need to see that this is also a right angle triangle, DKC. And we are required to find this angle. So, to make it easier for us, I am going to first draw the first part of this triangle. I'm going to let the point K be the position of the kite, which is directly above D. So therefore, I will have this K, D, B. That's the first thing. And they give me this is 41 degree. This is given. This is also given. So if I know this side, I could find the green color angle easily. So this is what I will set out to find first. With respect to angle 41, I will have my adjacent side, opposite side, to a castle. Which one should I use? O and A. Yes! Tangent 41 degree will be equal to opposite, which is my DK, over 29. So all I have to do is to multiply 29 on both sides. And this will give me to 5 sig fig 25.209. And if I were to draw the green color, still DK. But now it's not with point B, it is with point C because they will want this angle. This is the angle of elevation, the value of angle of elevation of C from K, of K from C is the same as finding DCK. And so DC is 32, D5. 0.209 and with these pieces of information, with respect to the angle there, A, D, J, opposite, you see the O and the A? Yes, we are going to use tangent again. Opposite. Over adjacent. And from here, once we get this value, we would be able to get the Require answer easily. Yeah? And so this gives me a value of the final answer 38.2 degrees to one decimal place, and therefore the angle of elevation of the kite.
from C equals to 38.2 degrees with that we have come to the end of this video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day